Okay, gents. So first thing you're going to do is go to Google and you're going to type in Photopia or Photo P, if you can remember that. Photo and a vegetable P. Okay, click on it. Close the big banner at the top. You don't need that. And usually you'd go to new project, but not this time. You're going to go to open from computer instead. And you're going to go onto your computer and you're going to go to the folder and find the photo that you've taken of yourself. In this instance, mine's in the Google Drive, in my drive, in year 10, in the identity project. And there's the photo I want. Double click on it and up it pops. Okay. Now, first thing you're going to need to do now is to remove the background off of your photo. Okay. Um, I'm going to do that using a polygonal lasso tool. Okay. Which is usually hidden. So if you click on this and hold, and then you can see polygonal lasso tool right there. And you click on that. Okay. And I need to be a little bit closer because I need to be able to see. So I use the magnifying glass and I click on the screen to zoom in. And then I slowly click around myself and you can see every time I click is, um, you see that red circle, that's me clicking. Okay, and you can see you click and it slowly goes round. You don't need to press and hold. That's the good thing about it. You just click at points and if you drag slightly off of the picture it moves it up or over as you're going round see so yeah, every time I click it is you just got to drag it from right by the edge like that okay click 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 and this is where I meet hair so I kind of crop my hair a little bit so Give myself a bit of a haircut, get my bushy eyebrow out of the way. Okay, scroll down a bit. And again, this is where you can sculpt your hair a bit. So I go around the edges of my wiry beard. Okay. You want to kind of get as much background off as you can. And then over down the other shoulder. And then I go all the way up one edge. Whee! And then all the way over. Wee. Okay, and then all the way down. Wee. Like that to there. And then I join the two together. Generally takes a double click like I just did there. Oh, look, I made a mistake. You can click undo and it appears again. Then you press the delete key on your keyboard and the background disappears. And it turns into this checkerboard pattern. And the checkerboard pattern indicates that there's absolutely nothing there, okay? And I zoomed out there by going to the magnifying glass and fit on screen. And now I want to get rid of the mask. So I click on the rectangular marquee and click off to the side. So it gets rid of that mask. And now we want to start changing our image. So I go to image adjustments and I go down to black and white and I click on it. I click OK. I mean, you don't need to worry about those settings. Click OK and you've now turned your image black and white. Okay, this is going to help us to turn it into a blue color. So again, we go to image and we go to adjustments and we go to hue saturation. Okay, and we want to drag saturation right the way over and it will be blue to start with. Sorry, red to start with. And then you want to change it to blue and I will go for a slightly lighter blue. So drag it all the way down to the left. Okay, uh, you can adjust lighting if you feel you need to as well and then you go to um, brightness and contrast and you can start playing with those as well making the contrast more bold making it slightly darker the choice is yours it's going to be completely different for each of you based on your photograph and that is the end of the first part of this tutorial hopefully you haven't had much trouble getting to this point and you can carry on by watching part two.